It's been so long since the first half of Invincible Season 2 that I've almost forgotten how it went. Is this part of their plan? Force all of us to do another rewatch so they get extra hours of viewing figures to show their shareholders at Amazon. Season 2 had its ups and downs so far, with a couple of episodes focusing too much on Debbie and her descent into misery. I come to an episode of Invincible expecting violence, and lots of it, so let's check out the trailer for part 2 of Season 2 of Invincible. Fair warning, this will contain spoilers. Also, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Look at it there, all tempting. The trailer starts off concentrating on the Guardians of the Globe, seemingly helping the astronauts from the mission to Mars again. Black Samson is talking about how they're not the best superhero team on the planet. Then who is? Or is he saying, we're not just the best superhero team on the planet? Because he clarifies and says that they're family. Meanwhile, Donald gets a visit from Cecil. Does Cecil know that Donald knows he's a robot? High praise from Collider. Completely worthless as I believe them to be massive shills whose opinion cannot be trusted. In my opinion. Various shots of Invincible doing invincible things. To be expected. Cecil visiting the Guardians of the Globe. Could be a shot from earlier in Season 2 for all I know. Shots of Mark after the Viltrumite attack on Thraxa. Mark saying we go around saving lives while ruining them at the same time. You also ruin your own, Mark. Andressa telling Mark that they will rebuild. Yeah, it'll just take multiple of your lifespans. Shots of Mark rebuilding Thraxa. Is that New Alzot? It's some old Thraxian. Was probably a wee lava at the beginning of the Viltrumite invasion. He's saying that Earth probably needs his help. Meanwhile, Omnipotus is attacking the Guardians. A couple of new heroes in here that I've not seen before. UNLIMITED POWER! Cecil wants Mark to go back to space to deal with the Secoids. I can never say that right. That's a lot of Secoids. The Guardians look doomed. DOOMED! Even Rudy have been got. Surely this is a dream. Do the Secoids mess you up if you remove them like the facehuggers from Aliens? March 14? That's less than three weeks away. Nolan's on some asteroid space base. He was all messed up after the Viltrumite attack on Thraxa. He just looks like he's got a bloody nose now. Has Mr. Krabs always voiced General Craig? Or as you Americans would say, General Craig. The tailor with four arms. I assume Angstrom Levy is in a dimension where people have four arms. Maybe he wouldn't look like such a freak there. He travels to a tropical world, a zombie world, Hoth, and finally, our Earth I assume, as he says it's good to be home. But didn't Angstrom Levy come from an Earth where Mark joined Omni-Man? Rex and Kate are taking on the Lizard League alone? Things must be desperate. Secoids have an astronaut, but we already knew that. Adam Eve seems to be doing a good job of shielding the Guardians from the Secoids. Uh oh, Craig's on Earth. Angstrom tells Debbie that her family's legacy is blood. I mean, you can't really argue with that. Both in terms of the damage they did to people like Nolan killing the original Guardians, or the fact that they inherit their power. Good to see Debbie crying for a change. A montage of combat that gets pretty brutal with Kate getting her leg snapped and her body torn apart. Mark getting screwed over by Levy's portals. Doesn't he get stranded somewhere in the comics? It's been so long. They could have covered that in Season 1. Shapesmith's making short work of the Secoids by splattering them. Are they really that weak? Monster Girl tearing Secoids apart easily. Must just be the weight of numbers that is their real danger. The Immortal fighting what I assume to be Alan the Alien. It could just be one of his race though. Is that a female Viltrumite boot on Mark's throat? If you know, you know. That looks like a female. Struggle Snuggle incoming. How will they handle it? This is probably the most interesting part of the entire preview. They can't just show it, but they can't skip it. Some sort of giant tentacle. I said tentacle. Mark saying that he'll never let anyone hurt his family. Sounds pretty upset. I wonder who he's talking to. Probably Angstrom, but could be Cecil, or Nolan, or even Andressa. Freaky, three-eyed guy with a pistol. Could be one of the bounty hunters out with Battle Beast. Jeez, the poor Lizard League. That's a lot of damage. The Guardian's at a funeral and no Rex to be seen. Flashes of evil Invincible. Wasn't that from when Angstrom Levy stranded Mark in a parallel dimension? He had to basically fight himself. Looks like part 2 of season 2 of Invincible will be even better than the first half. Lots of violence and action, less moping around and crying. I'm excited, 
Subscribe to be alerted when my recaps of part two of season two of Invincible go up on YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. I release reviews occasionally when time allows and a thumbs up would be a big motivator for further reviews. If you didn't like it, feel free to leave a thumbs down and let me know how I can improve in the comments below. Anyway, I'm Mixie. Thanks for your time and have a good one.